Hello, hello, and welcome to Rory's Brainworks and this quick reference guide. Be sure to stay safe, sane, and consensual out there. Now, let's talk about storing your rope. And I know what you might be thinking. You know, Rory, you're looking nice today. <laughs> Thank you, I, I thought so as well. Just feeling myself, just feeling myself. But what you might also be thinking is, this isn't a knot or a technique, I can't really use this for rope bondage, can I? And where that is true, I wanted to give you guys tools, tools that you could utilize in your own rope journey. One of those tools just happens to be like, well, how do you store your ropes when you're done with them? And I'll be showing you the two ways that I like to do it. One, where I just like to normally store my rope, and second, how I like to tie up my rope after it's been used when I need to uh, sanitize and cleanse it. So let's get right down to it. Now what I like to do is to take the tails of my rope, give about five inches, and then grasp thusly, leaving them dangling. And then I just like to spool, as per normal, using my thumb to uh, carry the burden of the rope there. Now, if you're a theater tech or an engineer or electrician, you might be thinking to yourself, no, don't. Well, this is rope and not electrical wiring, so shush. Another important thing to note is to keep your wrist straight. Try not to put it into extension or flexion. You want to keep it straight. Makes it a little bit uh, nicer on your body. Be good to yourself. Now, when you have the tail end leading to the bite next to the thumb and you got about three feet, that's when you should take it off. Be sure to keep the dangly tails out here a little bit separate. And then we're gonna move over and we're gonna start wrapping it around. And now to wrap, we're just going to toss it over, leaving about, I don't know, three to four inches about right there for the loopies. And then we're gonna grab it and start tightly twisting it over. Keeping it nice and tight. Oh yeah. Those tails can be bothersome. I like to do it slightly different than the angle I'm doing right now for the camera. <laughs> so it's slightly, it's a little bit awkward. Now you're just gonna keep going until you hit the bite. When you get closer to the bite, you can twist, toss it over. Secure, twist, toss over. Now, varying on how much you have at the end here and uh, how much you have at the bite, what you're going to do is find the center of all these loopies. And with that center, we're gonna take the bite and we're going to enter that center. Oh, and go through. And we're gonna take the bite, spread it open, and take this end of the loopies, and wrap it around. Which will then secure it in place. Easy peasy boo. The second way I like to spool up my rope is after it's been used when I've been with a rope model partner, etc., and I want to sanitize and clean them. Uh, I, I use this technique in order to show that these ropes need to be uh, cleaned when I get home. So I like to grab the bite and then reach through the loopy, and then we're gonna come down, wrap around the tails of the rope, grab them, and then boop, pull that loopy, creating a nice little girth hitch. Easy peasy. Then we're gonna reach into that one, grab that rope, Pull through that loop. We've got a new loop. We're gonna grab, go into that loop, go down, grab the tail, reach through. Ah. I think you can see what we're doing here. We're just chain stitching, reaching into the new loop, grabbing the rope, creating a new loop, reaching into the new loop, grabbing the rope, making a new loop. Reach, grab, new loop, reach, grab, new loop. And once you get near to the end, you can take uh, the tail ends of the rope, put it through the loop, and secure it in place. And then you end with this beautiful chain link contraption that you can just fold up a little bit, toss it away, and that way when you get home, you see the ones that are still uh, wrapped up nicely, still spooled up nicely, and all the ones that are chain link, they're like, I need to clean those ones. And the great thing about it is you just kind of take out that tail, and then take the tail, bring it back through the loop, and at that point, it is a chain link, so it'll just undo itself. For easy cleaning. Well, hey, I hope that quick reference guide helped you out a little bit on your rope journey. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below to feed those algorithm gods. As always, I'm Rory. This is my brain. I'm fairly certain it works. Be safe and go create some art.